Tropical Rainstorm Cindy. It's uh, backed off. It was really pouring it down a few minutes ago. I missed it. Tropical Rain. Oh, yes. The Boogity Bop. All I'm doing right now, <clears throat> I've all done, all done it already, but I want to go a little bit farther with it, is, uh, as I said it before, the guitar has a 16-inch radius in the fretboard, and that's what the old saddle is, and this is a, oh, where were we at? <laughs> There's your 16 block, I don't know if you can see that or not. 16-inch arch block, I've already got sandpaper on it. And I've just uh, got the thing here in the vise, and uh, I want to keep the intonation filing marks in there because I worked pretty hard to get those just like that. And this is very piercing. You just want to put a nice 16 inch radius in this new cuff saddle to match that of the fretboard. And you can see by the block here it's touching pretty much all the way across. When I first started, it was like these two areas here were getting where all it was touching the uh, saddle. And now you can see the entire block is pretty much touching the saddle. Boy, that is a screechy, piercing sound too, man. I don't know if the camera's getting that or not. I am getting cold chills all over my ass. Look at that. I don't know if you can see them or not, but it's just it's like scratching a blackboard. That reminds me of... Uh, So, uh, yeah, you can see it's it's touching the entire block. And uh, I think I'm going to... Uh, let me zoom you out a little bit here. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, stop right there. That looks good. I don't know if you probably can't even see that radius in that. Yeah, maybe you can see it on camera. It's a 16 inch. It's not very much of a radius. It's just... Uh, all that we need. Now, like I said before, I gotta take that bone saddle out and uh, I wrote the measurements down here, okay? Let's see which way this puppy goes in there now. Goes like uh, this. Alright. Where the low E string passes over about right there, I need to cut this down this way until it measures 278 thousandths, okay? And where the high E string passes on the opposite side, I'm going to cut this down until it is 234 thousandths. Now right in the very center and the top of the saddle here, measuring from the bottom of it to the very top, like from here to here, I want that to be uh, 291 thousandths, all right? Now, if I can get close to those numbers, that will get me in where I can start working on the action and keep the action uh, what it is now and what uh, the owner wants to set at, which was uh, uh, 564 on the low E string and 464 on the high E string, both at the 12th fret. So if I cut this about that size, and I should be able just to set it in there and it be right. I am going to take the old saddle out right now, though, so we'll pause the camera again. and. Uh, We'll do a little comparison here it might interest you hold on i've showed this before but it's a good a good time to show it and mention it again check this out here's one two now if i can do this without a shitload of traffic coming up through here like it did before so you can hear it all right here's one here's two one two this is bone That's bone. This is tusk. Sounds like a piece of glass. And because it sounds like that, it's more dense completely through it. More uh, denser than even bone is. And like I say, this is too much for some guitars. And I think it might be too much for this one. We're going to find out. You can see the difference here. I'm going to measure this old saddle that I took out. i get my calories up here to find them. Measure it on those three places I told you. And then I'm going to mark 
the tusk saddle in those three places and uh, I'll bring you back. I'm not going to bore you with all the sanding and grinding, but I'll bring you back when I get them. Uh, get it down to about close to where we want it at. And everything should be right, the action and intonation and everything. We'll, we'll find out. We'll see. Hold on. All right. The new tusk saddle is in place. <clears throat> and I want to show you this. I showed it to you the other day. I want to show you again. So I'm just going to go through it once quick. You can watch the tuner yourself. First string open. It's okay, first string open. It might be a tiny bit flat. Very little though. I'll just go ahead and tighten it a little bit. Probably overshoot. There we go. Okay, first string noted at 12th fret. Check that out. Second string open. Noted at the 12th fret. Third string open. Why wow, they're all showing a tiny bit flat. It's all over the place. All right, third string uh, noted, 12th fret. Fourth string open. Noted, 12th fret. Fifth string open, and it's flat too. Fifth string noted, 12th fret. Sixth string open. Might be a little bit sharp now. There we go. But that's not the tuner I set intonation with. Hold on, I'll get it and show you real quick. This is the tuner I use to set intonation when I'm really, you know, focusing in on it. This one's dead on. I've got it already. But this is a, I just want to show you real quick. Uh, here where you see the zero in the center and a minus 10, that's 10 cents flat. Plus 10 is plus 10 cents sharp, or 10 cents sharp. And it's got every cent marked in between those. So I'm not going to, this is just for demonstration, I'm not going to retune the guitar and all this crap. But you see that string is tuned one cent flat. Now on the 12th fret, noting it, you hear the idiots and their fireworks. You can see it's about one cent flat. Okay, second string. Yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna tune it a little. And my apologies for the noise, folks. Okay, second string noted on the 12th fret. One cent sharp. If that, and that's probably me pushing the string too hard. Third string. You tune it up a little bit. This is an app for Android platform, and it's called uh, Guitar Tuner Pro. Okay, there's a third one dead on. That might be a cent flat. I can't see the thing very well. And that's noted. Hold on. Okay, open. Yeah, it's still a cent flat and noted. And that's showing a cent sharp. There it was flat. It may just be, it's probably pushing down, squashing the string between the frets. I'm not going to go through all of them, but there you can see uh, this guitar is true, man. Very, very much true. Hold on. So there you go, folks. Uh, let me bring it over here and show it to you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the intonation, how I intonated it or not. Uh, first string is kind of center. Second string, I came filed back, uh, you know, this way so the break angle would be more, it might make the string longer. 
third, fourth, and fifth strings, I had to go forward with all three of those uh, breakaway angles. And the sixth one's pretty well in the center. And you saw for yourself, man, this thing intonates dead on the money. I don't know how well you'll see the intonation work. That beautiful file work or not. But uh, I think you can see that. I, I think I'm seeing it in the camera. I don't know. But uh, there it is with the Tusk saddle. Now we want to check the uh, action and make sure it's exactly the same as it was before. I like to see 564 here. And it is uh, 4, 5, 6, 64 and 5, 64 on the bottom. So it's just like the bone saddle. I got to take it out one more time. Mark 264 on the saddle. Remember, you got to move, remove twice as much from the rear from the saddle. Uh, if you want your strings to come down, like in this case, I want to see them come down. I want them to be a 64th of an inch lower, so I got to take two 64ths off of the saddle. We'll go do that right now. And uh, I doubt we'll get to hear this thing tonight because it's so hot, freaking hot, man. And uh, or on this video, and then with fireworks and stuff going on, you know, uh, I'll do another video of the uh, comparing the bone and the. Uh, tusk saddle. I've already recorded some stuff with the bone saddle. I just need to record some stuff with this tusk saddle now. And then I'll edit them, put them together back to back so you can hear the difference. Hopefully see you on that video. Get you a shirt. 24 bucks anywhere in the lower 48 states. 27 anywhere else in the world. Shirts go out every Monday. So uh, if you haven't got one yet, pick one up. It'd make me and you both happy. <laughs> Cheers. I'll see you on the uh, comparison video. Thanks for watching. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and show you the rest of it. I just went uh, and cut the saddle on down. Sorry for the fireworks of 50-year-old children playing with loud. <laughs> and we are exactly 564 on the low E. And exactly dead on the money, 464 on the high E. And uh, there's no buzzing. I went down every fret. I'm hitting the strings fairly hard there, too. No buzzing anywhere. So we are set. This baby's ready to go home. And the first night, it's quiet, and there's not a big party going on. You're always down there like that, baby. The first night that happens, I will uh, bring you guys back, and we, what we'll do is I'll, like, uh, compare the bone saddle with the uh, tusk one. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Tell them. Say, I love you. I love you. Tell them. I love you. What? What? I love you. I love you. Oh, you can do better than that. Tell them. Say. What? I love you. Oh, you ain't telling them. Come on, tell them I love you. Good. Woo!